Joanna, first of all, um, how are you feeling? How's your foot? Uh, man, I, I, I'm, I'm good. I'm super happy. Uh, tough fight, but dominant performance. And this is what I always say. You can have a plan till the first punch. And uh, I took the fight second by second. And uh, I'm happy. 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 I'm just happy. Can you talk just about your foot injury? What, what happened and what round did you, I think, did you hurt it? I think I broke it. At the end of the second round or the third round and uh, fifth round, I was like, okay, I, I shouldn't kick with this foot. I felt pain, but then I was like, just fuck it. <laughs> what worse can happen? Like, they're gonna break it in three pieces, they're gonna put it together. That's it, you know, and uh, that's a tough business, you know, and honestly, I don't like myself uh, from the octagon being injured uh, with the crotches, but it's my job. Big, big hobby, big, big passion, crazy passion. Crazy job, but this is how we make money, baby. And uh, I love it. And I, I don't know, I will go to the hospital tomorrow morning and now I wanna rest, spend some time with my family, uh, with the people who came to watch my fight. I'm very, uh, I wanna say thank you to the fans. They fill up the arena and uh, that's amazing, you know? And uh, so many uh, Polish flags, uh, T-shirts. Uh, it was amazing, you know? It, I felt like home. Uh, it was an honor to headline the show. Uh, and let's do this one more time. There was a lot of people, fighters, fans, tweeting about you and Wei Li really? Zhang next. That's um, cool. That's, that's what's up. That's the fight to make, That's right? what's next. That's what's next. Like I, like I said uh, two days ago, I had a few interviews with the Chinese outlets and uh, they asked uh, me about that fight. They are super pumped. They want this fight to happen in Poland. Let's do this at the national stadium for 60,000 people. Let's wait for spring. I will heal my foot. Uh, of course, uh, where is the champ and it's her decision. But let's make this happen. I'm ready, more than ready. Is that why you said you felt really at home? Is that why after the fight you decided to like sign every autograph and take every photo? With of course, the there is no sport without fans, you know? And, and, and we athletes should respect uh, the fans, you know, because we get paid because of them, because they come into the shows, they buying tickets, pay-per-views, so much respect to all of them, and, and that's uh, that's amazing. Uh, the UFC PR department uh, is doing an amazing job. The, the social media department is doing an amazing job. Uh, it's it's very important. We, we 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 should always remember about our our fans. In retrospect, did all of the drama of fight week, all the weight cutting stories, did that happen? I watched Dana's interview for TMZ, okay? And it was a mental game. Yeah. Did it add any but we handled the business from the beginning to the end, man. And like, when I saw when I saw on the scale big way, I, I just wanted to give a, head, a heads up, but I'm a pro and uh, what I had to go through before the fight with Rosna Mayunas, I had my fight. I was not a competitor that night. I don't want to take anything from Rosna Mayunas. She was the champ. She's a great athlete and she's going to be, become the champ uh, probably one more time, one day. But uh, I had my fight and I, I'm 32. I cannot put my life uh, and health uh, on the line. You know, it's not worth it, uh, any money. And I made a weight, healthy way. I hydrated well. Big, big, big uh, credit to the UFC Performance Institute. Clean. Thank you so much. Thank you so, so much. There was a report that came out that you maybe had a fallout with George Lockhart in the middle of camp. No, no, no. It's not. It's no, no, no. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Never, ever. Uh, I would say that George is an amazing nutritionist, and I was uh, on George's uh, diet, but it's not like I put on weight because of his diet. I I was in touch uh, uh, with George Lockhart, Eric, a big thanks to all, all, all of these guys. They offered me help at the end, but you know, I, I, I did everything. I did everything what I could, just my body shut down, the weight went up, but you know, during the fight week, everything went uh, smooth and easy. Is there anything you could do next time to make it easier? Easier? What easier? I always do my best. And guys, like, uh, like when people heard uh, the rumor about me not making the weight, and they were like, go on treadmill. I can offer you this. I know what makes you sweat, you know? And like that, this drama bullshit. And uh, they're not an athlete. I, I'm pro. Like, and don't uh, doubt me. 
never ever I'm pro and I always do my best hundred percent I train two three times a day I keep my diet for last month I was eating thousand calories a day when I put my heart rate I bear, burn like six eight thousand kilocalories a day come on guys I know what to do I've been in this business for 16 years okay you want to talk about you know, the fight itself and how it went relative to the game plan? Like, did you execute? Obviously, you probably have to adjust some things because of the foot. Yeah, I had to adjust, but you know, she did a great job uh, in the clinch, but she got us out. Like I said, you know, uh, my condition is always good and I feel so great after, uh, even after the, the, the fifth round. Uh, good knees, I felt the knees uh, sometimes, and, and I need to. I needed the time to, you know, adjust a little bit, uh, make a space for elbows, uh, knees, and and you know, I'm, I'm very happy to be back on the winning track. You know? Did you call Dana yet? Uh, not yet, not yet. Uh, I was giving an interview for ESPN. Uh, I did some other interviews, uh, and I will call Dana definitely. What are you gonna say? That I love him so much, and I'm, it, it, that it was an honor to fight for him. You know, it was life changing to me signing with the UFC. I remember uh, the time uh, when Lorenzo was here, but the, with the new owners, uh, we have more possibilities. Uh, so I'm very blessed, uh, blessed, and happy to fight for the UFC, the best MMA organization in the world. And 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 big thanks to Dana. And it's not like I'm trying to be sweet and put the finger into his ass, but that's not true <laughs> because he knows. He knows what's up, you know, and, and I remember my first title defense uh, when they called me just five weeks before the show in Berlin and I did that, you know, and uh, and uh, we handled this business well. So um, I just want to say thank you, to, uh, say, uh, say um, how thankful I am, you know, for uh, having so much trust in me and Michelle and Women's MMA, that's amazing. I know you're a professional, but was it hard to get in the cage with Michelle, someone that you know you like, and, and it seems you guys have a it good relationship? It was not hard. It was not hard, but definitely I like to feel the fire even more and need to work on it more because when I do like someone, it's not like you know. Uh, we need this. We need this sports aggression, you know, and uh, definitely more. But I, I, I re uh, yeah, you're right. I have so much respect to her because. Uh, she's an amazing athlete. People from Albuquerque are, are really good people, and the team Greg, Greg Jackson are amazing people. There is a good atmosphere. I was uh, there training for three days back in a day. And that, that's it, you know. She's an amazing athlete. She, she's broken right now, but I told her to keep her head up because uh, she, she's she's top top athlete, you know, top athlete. Really but it's my time. Literally, that mic around your corner. He was in Vegas last night, cornering yeah. Taylor Harrison. Then he comes down and yeah. makes sure he's here for you tonight. Yeah, Mikey Brown, come here, come here. Cattell, come. Mikey Roach, come on. Come on, guys, come here. They want to ask you some questions. Because we are a team and they took a red eye, like Mikey Brown, Mikey Roach, Cattell Kubis is here. We are a team, the team, and and. We are the best in the world. ATT won, uh, like, uh, won, won, won. The best gym of the year uh, awards for the second year in a row. That's amazing. Three? Three. Three. Mike, can, can you talk about oh, yeah. Joanna's toughness? I mean, she had, you know, her foot really swollen up and she was still kicking in the in the fifth round. Um, it was pretty, pretty impressive and a lot of people were taking away uh, on Twitter. Well, I think mental toughness is one of our greatest <laughs> attributes, right? But I don't watch horror movies. <laughs> <laughs> No, I think this is one of her absolute strengths, right? Mental toughness is what uh, gets her through a lot of her fights. Um, superior conditioning, superior striking, mental toughness. I think these are the. Just lastly, for you, Anna, uh, this fight with Paul Lee does come together. How does it unfold? What does the fight look like with the Shang? <coughs> Let's wait. Let's wait. Let's wait. We're gonna have a perfect plan, but we're gonna adjust and. I'm a warrior, and I was there. I made it, and I will make it again. What would it mean to you to get that belt back? It means a lot, and my legacy is big, and I don't have to prove anything to anybody, even to myself. And probably I should stop, but I want to do this. I want to keep on doing this, because it's my life. You know, I was born for that, and I feel like it's my mission to show to people, even after I fell, you see, fell, yeah. fell, like lost my belt, uh, I felt like I had to pick my gloves and like 
carry myself as a champion and show the people that it's worth it to fight for your dreams. That's it. What do you mean probably you should stop? Stop? I didn't stop. I never stop. 